That is what champions do. Arsenal have just come from behind to beat Bournemouth 3-2 at the Emirates. Listen, it wasn't nice. It wasn't pretty. But Arsenal have claimed all three points to go back. Five points clear at the top of the Premier League table. Listen, City won earlier on this afternoon, but it doesn't matter. Arsenal fans must be feeling that the Premier League title is already back in their hands after a 19-year hiatus. Arsenal fans... Please let me know how you're feeling in the comment section just down below. Were you at the Emirates this afternoon? Were you there to witness Reese Nelson's 98th minute wonder strike to pick up all three points? And tell me, do you actually think that you're going to win the Premier League title? It wasn't the greatest win of all time, but it was a win. Surely, 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 surely the Premier League title is returning to North London. Make sure you stick around towards the end of the video, by the way, and I'll be announcing Durham's dick of the day. It can be a player, a manager, someone, a fan that's run on the pitch, absolutely anything. I'll be announcing dick of the day towards the end of the video. Don't miss it. It's going to be a big one. Right, the breakdown then. I really did not expect Bournemouth to pick up two goals at the Emirates. I think coming into this match, I predicted Bournemouth to lose about 4-0 to Arsenal. Philip Billing scoring one of the fastest goals in Premier League history. Fair play. But that's not one of the most important things that I gathered from today's game. Arsenal were caught napping in defence a fair few times. That opening goal, the ball that's been put into the box, it could have been dealt with so much easier. I know that Gabriel was marking, I think it was Dominic Slanky, so he couldn't get the ball away. He lunged, he could have been done. He couldn't do it. Ben White and also Saliba, ball watching. That ball should have been dealt with. There was an instance in the first half as well where Solanke was in the box. Philip Billing was carrying the ball. He did a little one-two. Solanke ran straight into the box. Was unmarked. Was just allowed to run freely into the box. Everyone just ran towards Philip Billing trying to shut him down. I think there was three men on Philip Billing. And looking at the ball into the box wasn't that good because Arsenal could have easily been 3-0 down. Well, 2-0 down at the time, but it could have gone later to be 3-0. That's one little instance where Arsenal fans probably should be worried. I think their defence, their centre-backs in particular, need to switch on a bit more. Let's get Bournemouth out of the way then. Let's get to the good stuff. Reese Nelson, that, my son, was an absolute beauty of a strike. 98th minute at the Emirates, Ball drops to him, edge of a dot, ever, ed, a little, 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 I can't speak, edge of the box, smashes it home. If there's a sweeter shot through the laces, I need to see it. Because North London erupted as soon as that went in. What a hit that was, mate. And for a player that's been written off so much over time, that's the goal that he needed to put his name potentially in Arsenal history because that could be the goal that later on wins Arsenal the title. There may be a few worrying signs from this result, but Arsenal, and I think they've proved it, have got that dog in them, mate. We saw it a couple of weeks ago at Villa Park, going down, coming back, picking up three points. They've done it once again. Could be worrying times, in the attacking front three as well. Trossard seen limping off in around about the 20 minute mark. But is that such a big issue? Gabriel Jesus could be returning very soon. We know that Martinelli has wanted to play down the middle for so long for Arsenal now. Give him a shot. Maybe this is his opportunity to shine as a number nine. He has been instrumental down the left wing for Arsenal this season. But maybe he is the man that can take you that little bit further. Picking up some vital points towards the end of a season. Arsenal are champions for me. Arsenal are going to win the title. It is performances like that. It's performances like at Villa Park two weeks ago. Where you're two goals down and you bring it back. That is what makes great teams. Manchester City did it on the final game of the season against Aston Villa. I don't see why Arsenal couldn't be in the same bracket as a great team like Manchester City. And listen, they will be because they will lift the title on the 28th of May. I want this to happen. It needs to happen 
for the Premier League. It's incredible. It's perfect. It's the right thing for English football if Arsenal win the title. The robots that are Manchester City are being stopped and they're going to be stopped. Mark my words. If Arsenal don't win the title, then... Well, I've called it all wrong for the last couple of months. In all of my years of watching football, and I'm going to get... I'm going to give Arsenal a bit of love in right now. I have never seen a team as lovable than Arsenal. Yes, I love my own football club. Yes, I adore Fulham like anything on planet Earth. But the players on that pitch, the manager, the coaching staff, the togetherness, these players are on a different level with Mikel Arteta. It's something like I've never truly seen before. You see it in instances with Jurgen Klopp in Liverpool. I don't really get it with Pep Guardiola. Arsenal fans, you have been well and truly through it, in my opinion. These last 19 years, yes, you got to a Champions League final. And what was it? 2006, lost it to Barcelona. The 2010s was a very tough time for the club. Went through it, mate. And I'm not saying like they went through it in a sense that the club could have been liquidated or whatever. The whole place stunk. The Emirates was toxic. The Arsenal fans deserve this. Finally getting back to where they belong. Finally making those Arsenal fans excited to support the club once again. There were probably people at the Emirates today. There were probably a minority of people that walked out at 2-0. Thinking that the season was well and truly over. The season wouldn't have been over even if you drew to all. You would still be... Three points ahead of Manchester City. I want Arsenal to do this. I am happy for Arsenal fans. I'm happy for the club. 19 years since their last title. That just doesn't sit right with me. It doesn't sound right. The, the, the words coming out of my mouth. 19 years, almost 20 years since Arsenal won a title. They're going to do it. I want, to, I want them to do it. Anyone that says... They want Manchester City to win the title. Just you shouldn't be listening to their football opinion in my in, in my eyes. We've all got annoying mates who support Arsenal, but now with how lovable this team is, the great football that they're playing going forwards, a bit questionable in defence. They're going to bring it home. They're going to do it. They deserve it. Can City to catch them? It's going to be tight. It's going to be so so tight. We know the power in which City possess. I mentioned Arsenal having that dog in them. City have got that dog in them, plus even more. They've got a Kevin De Bruyne. They've got an Erling Haaland. They've got Mares to bring off the bench. They have got strength in numbers at the Etihad. This is a big claim. But the best thing that I think could happen to Arsenal this season is going out of the Europa League. Get out of it ASAP. Get yourself eliminated. All focus needs to be on the Premier League title. That's the one thing that you need to bring home. Then you can go another 19 years and not win a title. It is far more important. The Premier League title is far more important to the people of North London, to the people that walk down Holloway Road every other day. Every other day? Every other week. People probably do walk down it every other day. But still... Arsenal are going to do it. But I couldn't be more happy for them. Listen, dick of the day today. I wouldn't say it's dick of the day. It's dicks of the day. Two of those goals. Well, one goal, the opening goal could have easily been stopped. And the Solanke goal as well. Dicks of the day or dick of the day goes to the Arsenal back line. So sorry. Some shoddy mistakes throughout the season. Some really shoddy mistakes today. Fix it. Make it better. Win the title for Arsenal. Stop ball watching. Deal with balls into the box better. Watch people like Dominic Slanky. Because when you come to Fulham next week, Mitrovic is going to be all over you like a rash. And I think Fulham might pick up for three points. Ooh, never mind. You're still going to win the title. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section just down below. Were you at the Emirates this afternoon? And are you confident that Arsenal could win the title and bring back 
the Premier League trophy for the first time in 19 years. And if you liked this video, please drop us a like down below and subscribe as well because it would mean the absolute world to me. Liverpool versus Manchester United tomorrow. is going to be a video on that. Cannot wait to look back on it with you. See you very soon. Have a great Saturday night. Arsenal fans, take it easy on the cans. See you later.